Hey, this is Michelle Getzinger here and I'm at the Jail Project and I kind of wanted to give you guys a little update. It's been a little while. We've had some trials and some triumphs and I kind of want to go over some of them with you. So come on and check it out. So before we go in, here's one of our first, first trials that we've had. This is a small minor speed bump in a construction job site. But it's one of the things that you should be prepared for whenever you're having construction done at your house or you know, wherever, these kind of accidents are gonna happen. Now we don't, we don't plan on keeping this door, um, but I'm not planning on replacing it anytime soon. It's gonna be a couple months. So we're gonna have to get this pane of glass here fixed. Having one of the drywallers accidentally hit it with their, um, with their scaffolding. So you can see, this is the entryway here. Um, not much has been done. In fact, unfortunately, we've had to move things multiple times and they, that's another frustrating thing is you keep moving the same piece of equipment or furniture or whatever I have in that junk pile uh, at least three or four times now. So we're trying to pare down each time, um, but that's my staging stuff right there. Look at all my junk. Anybody want some junk? Yeah, so since we're getting real on this episode, and this isn't HDTV, because this HDTV doesn't really show you what happens behind the scenes. This is a result of very poor planning on my part. So one day I went down, all this stuff was in my garage. There's a lot of Christmas decorations and stuff here and other decorations. And I was like, you know what? I don't want this in my garage anymore because I won't be able to park my car in here. So I moved everything over here to the jail before we got started. And since then has been the bane of my existence because I've done nothing but move it like 10 more times. So here's one of my big mistakes. Um, think wisely before you move something into or out of a job site because Mostly you wanna move things out of the job site because you don't wanna to have to be moving them multiple times. Since this was the original um, firehouse area um, where they were pulling the fire trucks from 1905, um, we wanted to maintain this as part of the architectural tribute to the building. So we did not wanna lose the garage. So that's what we're standing in here right now, but this has been a huge challenge. Because there's living space above and possible office space behind us, there has to be um, completely airtight, so if somebody pulled a car in here, since we're gonna have it as a garage, um, and leaves their car running, the carbon monoxide doesn't kill everybody else in the building. So that is the reason why we've had to take such particular care to this. So you'll see when this is all done, everything in here will be completely airtight and sealed off. There is no heating or air conditioning in this room. Um, and all the light fixtures, since we're um, commercially gonna be zoned here, um, we're gonna have everything just completely airtight as well. So when you see over here, the garage door is also now inoperable. Um, so we're gonna be getting a new garage door, but it's definitely been a challenge. Even aesthetically, I didn't like any of these bump outs or drops. I wanted the ceiling to be as high as possible. Um, I wanted a fire pole in here too, uh, but it's just, it's just been a kind of a tough road on this one. 